Hello everyone and thanks for watching my channel again. I am back with the tech video and this rather short video I will be going through the progress of putting on a green screen with my webcam. Uh, I use this all the time when doing my racing videos nowadays. Uh, and I think it's a very neat uh, function and it's uh, working uh, very good and it's not that hard to set up and to work uh, properly. Uh, so follow me, thanks! So, why would you want to have a green screen behind you when doing a video recording? Well, the main thing is that the technique are making the background transparent and you can replace it with any background image of your choosing and it gives the videos a professional look. I will share my own experience of this feature and I have been doing racing videos in my channel for about one and a half year now. And to make my video content more fun to watch and showing off what steering input I do when racing, I have always used webcams to capture me racing in my seat as shown here in one of my oldest videos on my channel. I started using just one webcam, but quickly I added another one and they have always been placed in the bottom left of the screen so they were not in the way of any iRacing menus or in-game dash. A problem that I had was that the footprint of those webcams picture were quite big and I was restrained in terms of placement. The larger I wanted the objects to be in the webcam's pictures, mainly me, the footprint size increased. When using a green screen and letting the background be transparent, I can make the webcam picture bigger, but without making the footprint so much larger. And therefore I can more freely move it around on the screen. The thing needed are of course a green screen or a material very much like that. I think you could do well with a piece of cloth or sheet too, but I have not tried it. You do need a webcam of course, and you can use what you have really to get everything working. I got a set of Microsoft Livecam Studio webcams for all my filming, and no problem here. You need a stream and recording software like OBS Studio or XSplit with the function chroma key. Those two programs will do the job perfectly. As I am using OBS Studio, I will only focus on that software here. And in the OBS Studio software, the chroma key is installed by default, so there are no need for additional plugins. The chroma key is a function used in the most common video editing software like Adobe After Effects, Sony Vegas and Adobe Premiere. The technique is very well used in the TV and movie industry, and chroma means color in Greek, and the most common color used are green and blue. The different colors on the screens are related to what kind of effect filmmakers want to have, and also about professional lighting aspects. It seems that the green color is the most used on the market nowadays by everyday user, and the term green screen is really well established. When scrolling through the internet and YouTube, there are a lot of videos covering tutorials and guides about setting up green screens. The vision levels and the area of use are different, and my video will pile up with others out there as well. Hopefully though, my thoughts and inputs can give some value for interested viewers setting up a green screen at home. I got my ideas of the subject after watching racing videos from Eric Hogg's YouTube channel, Hogg TV. In his videos he is using a green screen in some way, and I asked him about it and he wrote back that he is using a Logitech C920 webcam with a chroma key. I don't know if he uses a green screen, but possibly so. My quest for putting up a green screen in my own room began. First I tried using just my white background on the wall, but that did not work. There are clearly reasons for these screens being green or blue. It is just not about getting the wall or screen color behind you not being the same color as the clothes you are wearing. 
Good lighting conditions are important to get the green screen effect working properly. But despite that and extended tuning in the settings, I could not get the chroma key working without a proper green screen. But wait a minute, aren't there a simpler solution and we do like when there are shortcuts available. Aren't there a new Logitech webcam out that can get rid of the background without a green screen and chroma key? Yes there is. The Logitech C922 ProStream got what they call it a prime feature in background removal. It's worth mentioning right away that these solutions are entirely software based and you could accomplish this with the previous Logitech C920 as well. Also, the results are far from convincing when doing a head-to-head -head comparison between a proper green screen and the Logitech solution. But I guess the simplicity of it and the fact that it is working to some extent can make this interesting for casual streamers. An alternative are also checking out the good looking webcam from Razer called Stargazer that what I've read do a better job than Logitech's cam in terms of background removal but to a higher price point must add. Everything that are software based comes with a recommended hardware of use and both alternatives just mentioned can draw up to about 25% of CPU usage in its higher settings. So think about the limitations here. I guess it will work fine, as mentioned earlier, for basic things like Skype calls, but not so much for demanding games when streaming, especially if you are sitting on an older or lower end PC system. So I purchased a green screen and some comes in a package with included stands, but I just bought the screen cloth itself because I got no space left for stands in my room. I then started planning of how I would set it up on the wall. I was a bit worried that the wrinkle on the fabric could interact with the quality of the background removal, so I ironed it just to be safe. I then cut the screen in the desired size and stretched it out and with a staple gun I attached it on the wall. I added a wooden tree frame around it just for the looks and despite the project are similar to a big pin board, I am satisfied with the finished result. Let's dive into the OBS Studio software where the magic happens and go to the sources menu and here I got a video capture device, my connected webcam. And right click on it and select filters from the menu popping up and then add the chroma key filter. First setting to do are choosing the color of my green screen. And after that I can use the similarity value to remove the background and get in the picture just right for my lighting conditions in the room. A value around 490 works perfect for me. I got both smoothness and color spill reduction reduced as much possible to the left to simplify the overall adjustments. And I can use those settings later on to do some fine tuning if necessary. Contrast, brightness and gamma levels are next and the gamma are especially useful and I ended up with a setting at minus 0.50. After I got the screen effect dialed in, me at least needed to adjust some measurement of the picture by adding another effect filter called crop and pad. Here I can move my picture left, right, up and down. And as you can see I got some white area down bottom to my right that I want to get rid of. No problem. It is important to have a good lighting condition in the room when using a green screen. And when I turn out the lights in my room, that becomes very obvious. There are no way I can save the effect by doing some brightness or gamma adjustment. Worth mentioning here is that I don't use any professional lighting, I just use my ceiling light containing three LED bulbs. And I got those pointing and projecting the lights on the green screen behind me. So, there you have it. A rather short video got rather long, but I hope you have found this tech video useful. 
thanks for watching and as always see you in future iRacing related videos. Hello everyone and thanks for watching my channel again. I am back with a tech video. Uh, in this rather short video I will be going through the progress of putting on a green screen. Uh, and I'm using... <coughs> Hello everyone and thanks for watching my channel again. In this uh, rather short tech with the video Hello everyone and thanks for watching my channel again. In this uh, tech video I will be going through the progress of putting on a green screen with my webcam. Uh, I use this technique uh, in all my racing videos nowadays. Uh, before I use it uh, 